My brother Isaac is a very self-motivated, hard-working, disciplined kid. And because of that, he earned himself a trip to the state wrestling tournament in Madison, Wisconsin. Now, as my parents and I were driving through Madison, I would look out the window and I would see these individuals in ragged old clothing, shopping carts full of random items, much like this one. And some even had signs that said, I'm homeless. I then asked my parents, how common is homelessness? But they didn't have the answers. I then set out to do some research on my own and I found that there are specific causes that happen to an individual. It also has effects on them and that affects society. Today, I would like to share with you some of those causes and effects, and because of those effects and causes, how it affects society, even if you cannot see it in your own community. Now, nobody wakes up and is randomly homeless. There are specific causes, and one of those causes is mental illness. According to Causes of Homelessness Prevalence, Relationships Between Homelessness and Cognitive Disability, mental illness is higher in the homeless population than the general population. Homelessness and mental illness, a challenge in our society, claims that of the percent of homeless people, 25% of them are mentally ill. Health problems of homeless people states that other causes range from substance abuse to physical disabilities, impairing people from working. Now, this is one of the slides that shows the main eight causes of homelessness, and we can see that loss of job is number one. Oof. Effects on, the causes come first, but the effects come next. According to the Homeless in America, an examination of possession and consumption behavior in the journal Consumer Research, individuals struggling to acquire possessions is one of the main effects of homelessness. Now we know they struggle to acquire the necessities such as food, water, and shelter, but they also struggle to obtain clean shoes, clean clothes, personal hygiene, and because of that they are forced to take the refuse of other people or they're forced to barter with the other homeless in their encampment. Traditional outlets such as restaurants and supermarkets are also off limits due to hygiene problems and financial reasons. Addiction and substance abuse is another effect. According to the Addiction Center and author Christina Murray, addiction affects everyone ranging from children to women to the LGBTQ community. These people tend to fall into a state of depression and turn to drugs for self-medication and comfort. Other effects include HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, loss of self-esteem, and we can see that mental health issues, long-term physical health issues, and uses of drugs are higher among the homeless population compared to the general population. The effects on these individuals cause an effect on society. Homelessness in our community affects us all by Catherine Toomey reads that Homelessness does not come cheap. For example, homeless people tend to lack health insurance, which causes them to not be able to pay for emergency rooms or other public safety services, yet they are more so, uh, likely to obtain a chronic illness. This causes people like you, the community, or the government to pay for their stay. The effects of homelessness on society also states that incarceration costs the community and government a lot too. And the environment and health of your community are also at risk. Christopher J. declares in his article, Socioeconomic Environmental Impact of Homelessness in Olympia, Washington, that homeless encampments tend to stick around, which causes litter. But when these homeless people move to shelters, Salvage crews are sent to clean up the encampments and there they find human waste and drug paraphernalia. And these can get into the water or the soil and cause bloodborne pathogens, unsafe water and other diseases. Now, the, today I shared with you some of the causes, the effects and how it affects society. Homelessness doesn't just happen in big cities, it can happen anywhere. It can happen in the smallest of places, in the biggest of places, it can happen around the world. I really enjoyed learning the statistics about homelessness and they are overwhelming and I hope you enjoyed learning about them too.